Hello, I'm Kate Jackson and I'm talking to you from my home country of South Africa where I'm being hosted by the Hospice and Palliative Care Association here. This message is to wish everyone a season's greetings and to celebrate the work that has been done in hospice and palliative care in 2015. Working at the WHPCA as international editor of eHospice, I keep a close eye on international palliative care news and views. I would like to share with you some of my thoughts on highlights and progress of this year. What really inspires me in my job is sharing stories about care that transforms people's lives. This year in October, we shared stories of people and their families who had been cared for by Hospice Malaysia. One of these people, Raja, talked about how socializing at the hospice can fuel positivity and good spirits. Jose de la Cruz, a WHPCA staff member, shared his personal story about the death of his mother in the Philippines, a moving story of the profound effects of dementia and bereavement. World Hospice and Palliative Care Day took place in October with a focus on hidden lives and hidden patients, an important issue for everyone wherever you are based. If you reach the furthest first, you will have the most benefit for everyone. No one must be left behind. On the 5th of December, Patient Sol Solidarity Day took place, where people around the world declared their human right to health. This day is growing in scale and influence. Our voices as patients, carers, and as citizens must be heard. The Little Stars films were premiered in Kuala Lumpur in October, bringing a much needed focus on children and their families affected by life-limiting illness. Lucy Watts, a powerful and inspiring advocate, became the global youth ambassador for the International Children's Palliative Care Network. Lucy, you are a rock star. Global advocacy continues. In September, the global goals were agreed upon, including a global goal to health. International palliative care organizations published a report on palliative care and the global goals on Universal Health Coverage Day on 12th of December. You can read about the report on eHospice. Palliative care must be included in the implementation of the global goals, otherwise the health goal cannot be achieved. In May, meetings were held at the World Health Assembly on children's palliative care and palliative care in Francophone countries. This year has also been full of preparations for next year's United Nations General Assembly Special Session on the World Drug Problem. It is important to ensure that balance is achieved in drug policy and that palliative care medications are available to all who need them. While I talk about progress and incremental steps forward, the need for palliative care remains huge. An estimated 40 million people need palliative care around the world and yet millions still live and die in unnecessary pain and distress. There is much more to be done to develop a global citizens' movement which demands the care that many of us need now and that more of us will need in the future. I am positive because I have seen and heard the energy and spirit of people around the world to make the lives of others better. For that reason, I will enjoy the end of this year with excitement and confidence in what we can achieve together next year. We know that palliative care works, we know that it transforms people's experiences of living and dying. We know that together we can make good care a reality for everyone. I wish you all the best for 2016. Thank you.